Hello everybody. What I'd like to show you here in the second part of um, isolation transformer and power amplification is uh, the variations and the dependency on a driving circuit uh, relating to the power MOSFET or IGPT you use. It will become apparent that um, a single solution, driving solution for um, any MOSFET does not exist. So every driving circuit is specialized for the MOSFET in use. I will do various things here um, to optimize um, a driving circuit. I will also do things, and I have to repeat, don't repeat that, which can seriously damage your components. So I will remove um, resistance, will remove circuitry just to get more power into the system. So I use the IRFP which is on a circuit board as one example and I will use then the high power IXYS um, radio frequency MOSFET which can uh, deliver 500 watt of power and you will see there is quite a big difference between both of them and this single drive I did build here uh, will have a real problem to drive the big one but now let's have a look um, at the individual tests Okay, now we want to start up the system and test it out. So that's one thing um, um, I need to add. Um, this little um, PNP transistor, very, very useful. However, in a high powered system, this little one is failing um, in a blink of a second. So you cannot use this little um, transistor for high voltage system. So above 100, 150 volt um, it starts to fail. Also very important I use always on the output side on uh, the train I use a diode it's very very useful because if you have um, a mismatch configuration to your load you will get a lot of feedback back to, the, um, to your MOSFET and remember what I said that's gonna destroy your system. First of all the current will rise you will see that and then it just it just um, hits it and it's gone. So by having it set up in this way, you will see it has a, a tremendous benefit. So I start with 800 kilohertz here on the system. Uh, it varies. Um, I opt for the lowest current and go up with the voltage. So let's have a look. I will start slow with increasing the voltage. So the voltage here not more than let's say 20 volt. Uh, I see 20, 30, 40 volt on the output side. Let's go for 50 volt on the output side. So that is 25 volt here. As you can see, I have quite some value here. So the current increased uh, an additional 10 mm. So the higher your input into the system, the higher the current will be here as well. So let's have a look. So that's already working. Now I go for optimization now. Use it as my benchmark. and select the value according to the peak but also have an eye on my current which is the moment at 100 milliampere forty two forty four what's current forty four volt Unfortunately, we can't see it, it's only white here on the screen. See, maybe if I go closer, you can see it better. Yeah. 44, 46, the current gets quite high. So, set is 836. Let's leave it as set. That means here uh, quite a lot current already. Let's get a little bit more up. I don't want to reach more than 400 milliamp. 
so something like Z on 80 volt so that's quite a strong one here now okay I want to be a bit cautious because I blew up so many of the little ones already so what I'm gonna do is I not now detune and reduce now um, the current I went down all the way almost 100 kilohertz so I'm around 100 million um, ampere on the voltage uh, on, on the current I'm increasing now the voltage to my same value I had before 400 because that is quite interesting if you do it this way you get more voltage into the system and let's have a look so I have it now 250 volt here 400 milliamp output is quite strong now here here on the input side it's 80 volt it's quite strong all right now let's move on to a little power a little bit more powerful um, MOSFET some of you have seen this power um, MOSFET, RF MOSFET, I did build, I have a tutorial how to build this one, it's very simple, it's a block, it's a very simple block, but this one uh, can um, provide 500 watt of power, it is, I would call it, it's not aggressive type, you need to drive it quite hard um, in order to get something out of the system, and now we have some means to do that so let's see how the system works so I'm using literally support here the output side of support I'll go directly from the output side I link um, the grounding or the negative um, polarity to the isolated side here of the driver and link it over to this external um, power MOSFET. So let's have a look, let's start it up. Let's go to 100 volt because that doesn't hurt the system at all. Okay, I move, um, I'm charging 50 volt as you can see. 100 volt, a little bit more than 100 volt on the output side DC almost no current at all and you can see um, there's a little bit going on, let's see if I can increase it yeah, the frequency I think that's the frequency it likes, 850k um, let's have a look here quite weak I have to beef it up a little more I hope my little driver works or let's say I go another step I'm bypassing now the little PNP transistor and go directly which gives me more current that should drive harder it's high powered um, MOSFET drivers, RF drivers, they need to be driven very very hard so I removed um, the internal 10 ohm resistance on um, the negative um, um, feeding side and I also go directly from the isolated side without resistance into the system and um, you would see that the current increases um, but the system, so we should have some better performance. Let's start. That's quite a lot. If 
because that goes quite nice up. I have it now start 100, 200 volt. Now let's have a look. Oh, nice. That is different. That looks looks much better. So here, now I get something. I have 200 milliamp as a moment. So, so 350 um, milliamp driven here. I have to go down a bit here on the positive side. I'm not sure how far I can go. This is a 500 watt system. At the moment, at 200 volt. Can go a little bit higher. Doesn't change much here on output side. Seems to be some kind of saturation here. I'll get out my fingers. See if I can do something here. Uh huh. The current gets lower here, so that is good. Nice and quiet, 250 milliamp. More current here and here. We are sparking out already. It's quite nice. Alright, that is good, don't want to push it any further, let's go to the next project.